Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Mahogany here, aka Mo Goddess. And today I am coming at you with another video in the Mo Hustles series. Today I am going to show you how you can use Canva to create different promotional items for your business, um, especially boutiques or anyone that goes to vendor events. Um, I think these are very helpful um, with making it very easy for you to get payment or send um, visitors to your website, to sign up for your email list, many different things that you could use these QR codes for. So what I wanted to do today is just show you how you can do that in Canva, a free, um, a free editor that you can use. Um, and it's very quick and easy. And so on my screen, you'll see here, I have an example of what a QR code is. It's a new, well, no, I'm not even gonna say new. It's not new at all. It's been around for a very long time, actually. But um, I don't think a lot of people really understood how to use it. Businesses are just starting to realize how they can really implement it into their marketing to make things easier for their customers. And I think customers are also starting to catch on to how you actually use it. Um, so here's an example of one that I used for a vendor table that my sorority had at a um, Juneteenth event last month. Um, we wanted to make it easy for anyone that wanted more information on joining our organization to be able to go straight to our website and straight to um, where they can find more information. So um, we created what I call table flyers, and we placed these in frames um, and placed them on our table along with other decor. So this is something that you could also do, like, um, like I said, for vendor events for yourself, for someone to pay you through Cash App, through PayPal. Um, to go to your website to give you an email address, anything like that. Um, how your client or how your visitor would actually use it is they will use their smartphone. They'll open up their camera and you can actually test this out right now because it also works on your screen as well. So you could actually, um, if you're watching this on your phone, take a screenshot. Um, if you're watching this on your laptop or your tablet, grab your phone really quick, open your camera and just place it over um, the... QR code, you don't even have to take a picture. Um, just scan over it and your phone will automatically give you a notification asking, do you wanna open that web page? And it'll take you right there. So um, you can test that out now. And that's exactly what a visitor to your vendor table or you know, if they're in your boutique, that's exactly what they would do to quickly get access to uh, whatever it is that you're leading them to, okay? So today I'm gonna show you guys how to quickly make one of these for your business. Um, I don't think a lot of people realize that it is something you can do within Canva. They make it very easy. Um, so any template that you can think of in here, business cards, you could do it. Um, flyers, um, let's see, um, big banners that you're going to use at your vendor event. Um, really anything that you can design in Canva, you can put a QR code there as well. All right, so let's go ahead and get into actually designing one. So I okay, so I have found a template here on Canva that I think would be great for us to use. Um, you can search through their database to find any of the types of um, promotional items that they offer for you to create. And a little tip that I can give you when searching, I normally just put in the type of business that I'm searching for, and that lets you get um, many more designs than you would get if you just chose a size or a specific thing that you wanted to make because um, you can always resize it later. Um, but this opens up the world of everything that's dealing with something like this. I've just put in like a boutique um, business. So this is the one I wanted to use today. It's a free, one of their free templates. So you're able to use it as well. I will include the link in the description below so that you can use it if you want to follow along or if you just want to recreate the same um, type of table flyer for your business, um, you'll be able to get to that. All right, so let's go ahead and get started and click on customize this template and it's going to open up an editor for us. All right, and then we're able to replace any of the items on this template. So I like to look at the template and kind of follow the flow of what's there because that's probably what called me or you know what spoke to me when I scrolled through the search to find that flyer. So here you see they have a model. <clears throat> and she may be wearing, um, you know, one of their new outfits in their collection. Um, so I want to kind of mimic something like that. You can put anything here that you want. It can be um, a picture of your products. It can be a model wearing your products, um, anything that you want. 
Um, so what I'm going to do is go over here to my uploads to find what image I want to use. <clears throat> and I'm sorry, I've been doing a lot of recording today, so my voice is starting to go out. Um, so I do apologize if my voice is a little scratchy. Um, okay, so let's see. I want to use a model that is wearing one of the designs. Oh, let me first say, um, what I'm doing here is creating a table tent or a table flyer for a vendor event that we have this weekend. Um, Tasha, my girlfriend and I are selling t-shirts at an event. So um, I am making some flyers for us to put on our table to make it easier for people to pay us. So oh, did that really fast without showing you guys how, um, but yeah, so I wanted to find a model with a design, um, a shirt that she designed um, showing our product. So I'm going to hold down my mouse on that image and I'm going to drag it in here. If you don't already have the image here, you see guys, I have, you see how many, I have way too many. Um, I need to go through here and clean it out. I just haven't, I keep putting it on the back burner. Um, Canva makes it so easy to put these into folders and organize them, but I just, I just can't find the time. It seems I'm probably going to have to pass that on to my assistant, honestly. Um, because yeah, I have way too much stuff over here, but Anyway, if you don't already have it here, just click on upload media and you'll be able to upload that from your computer, your Dropbox or wherever you may have it saved. Um, so let's see here. I want to change the um, centering of this image because y'all know the Virgo in me, um, this doesn't look centered enough for me. So I'm gonna double click on that image and I'm going to move it over with my mouse until I feel it centered. You can see the little outline of where it's going to drop. So put that where you think you like it <clears throat> and click done. Um, all right, I feel like it's still over a little too much. That way. All right, I like that. All right, so now I want to, it, it feels really bold to me. So I want to use an effect and I'm gonna click here on effects and I wanna use duo tone. So this is um, where you can choose a lot of different filters, effects to your image. I'm not sure if this is in the paid version only. Um, <clears throat> it may not be available for the free version, but I think it may be. So I want to use the duo tone and I'm gonna do this violet because that's one of our brand colors for Killer Creations. So I like the way that it takes away that boldness of the picture, but it still shows the design. You're still able to see the model. I think it all works good there. So good to go there. All right, let's work on this little circle here. Going to click on that. And I feel like I want to use one of our other brand colors, which is orange. So let's do that. Simple, simple. So like I said, we are using this <clears throat> to um, allow people to pay very easily. So we're going to put in, just pay here, very straight to the point. There you go. Okay. <laughs> so I like that. Now let's work here. Yeah. Um, let's change this. Uh, we use the rainbow colors a lot, which you probably know if you know us. If you don't, now you do. Um, so I'm going to put in a, another pop of color, and I think I like that blue right there. So yeah, those three colors I think look great together. So um, now let's work on the words, and I feel like I'm going fast. If I am, I do apologize. I need to get um, a little slower with it, I know, um, but like I said, I've been recording a lot today, so I've probably gotten into the flow of things, and I'm just going, but let's um, change the wording here. So let's change this by double clicking. We're going to change it to scan to. And <clears throat> I want that all on one line. So let's make that a little longer. There we go. And I want it to pop a little more than that, right? So let's change that to white. Yeah. Okay. Um, and I want to center it a little bit better. Let's move it over. There we go. All right, let's change collection to pay. So it'll say scan to pay. Um, I don't really like that font though. So let's double click it and we're gonna change to my new fave lately is Brittany. Um, so I'm gonna change that to Brittany. 
and I want it bigger. So let's resize that probably to a 96. Yeah. And I also love when words overlap each other, when it's like a, curse, a script in a um, regular font. So I think I'm gonna place that right there, but so that it doesn't like blend the way that it is, let's change this to our handy dandy purple. Yeah. So a little, little side tip, I don't know if you guys noticed this coming up when I change colors sometimes, um, this change all. So this was white um, and I can show you that. It was white. So I chose to change it purple. Once I do that, I could choose to change everything that's white on this design to purple. So instead of having to go through and click each one individually, I could just click change all and it'll do it for me. So that's a nice little side feature that a lot of people aren't aware of. Um, all right, so I like that there for now. Um, let's change this little lonely line here. Let's do orange bring it in with that um, circle there. But let's make it a little longer because she just looks so little. And let's bring her down a little bit. Act like you, act like you're with us, you know? Okay, so let's go here. Let's delete this text because we don't really need any text. Um, let's get to the nitty gritty of what we're here for. And that is to make a QR code, right? So over here is where you're going to be able to access the QR code in Canva. Um, mine is already here because I've used it recently, but you will most likely, if you've never used it, need to go to more. This is where you can find other apps um, and integrations that you can use, um, such as Bitmoji. Like if you wanted to add in avatars of yourself, you could do that here. If you wanted to add in YouTube videos, if you needed to get things that you have saved in Dropbox or Instagram or Google Drive, all of that is in your more section. Um, so we're going to click here on the QR code. Again, once you've used it, then it'll move over here to your recently used um, features. Okay. So once you click on QR code, this is why I said it's something that you can use for anything that you can come up with. Um, to collect email addresses, to send them to your website, to collect payment, to um, sell a specific product, anything like that. And it's really just because you're linking to a website. Anything with a link, you can create a code for it. So here's where you would enter that URL. And I'm going to do mine for Cash App. I want to test it out always to make sure it is linked correctly. So I like to pull up the link myself verify. Yep, that's me. Then I copy and paste that back into there. And then just click generate code. It's going to do all the work it needs to do. And then your code is going to appear on your design. So let's go ahead and move that here. I think I want it over in the corner. And let's make it a little smaller. So again, you can test this out on your screen if you'd like. You can put your camera um, from your smartphone over the scan and you'll see it'll take you directly to Cash App to be able to pay me. Um, so very easy to create, right? All you had to do was put in that link and Canva took care of everything else for you. Um, so again, think of all of the possibilities of what you could use this for. You can put this on the back of your business cards. Um, you could put this on flyers. Um, a lot of times, especially at vendor events, you get a lot of business cards, a lot of flyers by the end of the day, and they kind of just end up in a stack in a, you know, in a bag by the end of the day, and then you may end up throwing them away. If you offer that visitor the option to scan this code, open that website while they're there, now it's in their history, and they can pull that up later, you know? So um, think of all of the, the possibilities of how you could use this QR code for your business and how easy it is to just create it in Canva. All right, so now that we have that done, I think I'm liking it. I wanna do a little bit more branding though. So let's put the logo. Again, let's scroll through my many, many files, y'all. Just don't judge me, that's, that's all I ask. I'm gonna get it done. I'm gonna, right after I record this, I'm gonna 
put it on the task list for my assistant to start clearing this out. All right, let me let it load a little bit. And I just wanna find the logo, add a little bit more branding into here. Okay, we're getting closer. There we go. All right, so I'm gonna click on it to bring it over. And I don't like when a logo has that white box around it. So we're gonna go up here and click effects. And we're gonna use that to remove the background. So I'm gonna click on background remover. There we go. All right, and it's just gonna remove that, make this transparent so that it looks better on the flyer. Um, it's taking a little minute though. It doesn't normally take that long. There we go. All right, so let's make this a little smaller. Yeah, and we can click apply, close that on out. Um, and let's move it up. Oh, notice how it's like overtaking where um, I have that image already. So first, let's go here, click on that image and let's lock it in place by clicking on this little lock here. Now I can go back and get the logo and it won't overtake that window, All right? And so let's set that uh, like right there. There we go. All right, so that's branded, looks good, simple, to the point, QR code, it, it does everything that we need it to do, right? Um, so perfect. Now, remember in the beginning, I said that you can choose any design and then resize it to your needs. So this is actually an Instagram post, if you see here. Um, so that's way too small for the frame that we have. So what we want to do is um, resize that. So first, let me rename it. Um, let's do let's do Canva training table flyer. And let's do three in there because I've made this a couple of times. Um, and let's do resize. And we're going to resize this to 8 by, eight by 5, I'm sorry, 8.5 by 11 because the frames that we have, this is the size that would fit good with that. So when I click copy and resize, it's going to open up a new editor with that new size. And when you resize something, things can get a little wonky because things may be smaller than it was um, before. So as you see, we do just need to do a little alterations here. So let's start here with this um, image and first let's unlock it. There we go. And let's make it a little bigger. There we go. And let's bring our QR code down a little. And I like the way it overlapped with the blue. So let's bring that down. There we go. Let's make these a little bigger by clicking and dragging the corners. There we go. And let's do the same with scan two. Bigger. Resize, I mean, recenter it. Um, so it's a little too big. So now I'm gonna go up here to decrease the font size a little just until it gets to where I want it. There we go. Still overlapping, I like that. Now this little, this little thing looks pitiful again. So let's make her longer. There you go, girl. Okay. And let's make our logo a little bigger. And before we move it, we already know, let's lock this. And then um, a little bigger. Let's move that around. And I wanna make sure that I leave a margin um, on the sides and especially for the QR code, because you know the frame will cut it off a little bit. You wanna make sure they can see the whole code and I just don't want it to cut off like the logo or anything like that. So yeah, I think I, think I like that. I think that's good. I think it's um, eye-catching, it's colorful, um, and it'll make it very easy for them to just pay for their shirts you know, when they want them. Perfect. So yeah, um, Think of all the, the possibilities, like I said, of how you could use this QR code um, in Canva for your business. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments below and I'll be sure to either answer them back or use them as inspiration for future training that I can do in Canva for you. Um, so definitely drop those questions in the comments. If you liked what you saw today, please like this video. If you'd like to see more videos like this, other training videos, um, tips, business tips, or motivational videos, anything to help you grow your business, then make sure you subscribe as well. 
And like I said, if you have any comments or questions, leave those below. I always try to respond back to them because I'm so appreciative of you all for watching. You don't have to stay here and watch, um, you know, listen to me babble on. Um, but I hope that it's helpful to you. I hope it's not just babbling, but um, I, I appreciate you. So if you leave a comment, I'll make sure to reply back to you. All right. So um, yeah, until the next time, guys, have a great day. Thank you again for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.